Did you hear about the story of how Dakota Johnson and Christian Stewart played the same character in two multi-million dollar Hollywood films only seven years apart and how a mouse is key to it. Stay tuned to find out about this fascinating story. But first, we need to meet David Huron. David is a museologist at Ohio State University, and he was fascinated as to how music held our attention. What he found was so startling that it would lead to a brand new way of thinking about music and more widely innovation. So David set up an experiment with a group of mice, and he played the letter B, or the note B, to them to see how long it would be until they became bored of that note. And then when they became bored of that note, he added note C, which regained their interest in the melody. Eventually they became bored of that, and he also added the note D. And as he experimented more, there was a specific pattern of B, B, C, B, C, D, which held their attention indefinitely. He later was astonished to find that if you replace B with verse, C with chorus, and D with bridge, you get the song structure, which defines nearly every chart-topping song of the last 65 years. So what has this got to do with Dakota Johnson and Christian Stewart? Well, before we get to that, we need to introduce a new character to this story, and her name is E.L. James. E.L. James had become enthralled by the teenage vampire films of Twilight, and later the books. Over the course of a few days, she read the books a number of times, captivated by the brooding mysterious male lead and innocent curious female protagonist. She decided to write her own take on the story, publishing it on fanfiction.net under the pseudonym Snow Queen's Ice Dragon. Masters of the Universe was born, leveraging the existing popularity of the Twilight Saga. For those that don't know, fanfiction.net is a platform which allows users to create free accounts, publish their fanfiction stories, or follow favorite authors and review books. It hosts categories including books, movies, TV shows, animation, games, and more. So fan fiction allows existing works to be remolded into new works for an already engaged audience. The strong community around Twilight provided a ready-made audience for E.L. James. Fans were eager for more content related to their favorite series, and Master of the Universe delivered a new twist on Bella and Edward. So just like the mouse, fans were waiting for a new note to be added to the novels around Twilight. After gaining popularity online, E.L. James self-published her story as an ebook. The accessibility of digital books allowed Fifty Shades to reach a wider audience and readers easily shared the book fueling its rise. Yes, that's right, Fifty Shades of Grey series is a direct offshoot of the Twilight Saga, with Christian Stewart's Bella Swan being renamed Dakota Johnson's Anastasia Steele. The ebook success led to a major publishing deal with Vintage Books, bringing Fifty Shades to bookstores everywhere. Extensive marketing and distribution propelled its popularity even further, and in 2015, a film introduced the story to an even larger audience. The anticipation and excitement around the film reignited interest in the book series, cementing its place in popular culture. So there you have it, the journey of Fifty Shades of Grey, from fan fiction to global phenomenon, is a testament to the power of online communities and the influence of existing fan bases. Twilight fans help launch this steamy romance into the stratosphere, and the rest is history. So next time you're thinking about creating the next big thing, Think about the mouse and the musical note. What existing things are out there that you could use when creating your new big thing? Thanks for watching today. Do drop us a like and a comment, and do consider subscribing. We post videos nearly every week about design, design thinking, strategy, and digital. Until next time, stay curious, and see you in the next one.